this morning, help is on the way to the Florida Keys just in time. Irma tossed the boats onto the streets as it slammed into the island chain yesterday. Trailers overturned and debris now covers the roads. People who did not evacuate, who did not evacuate rather, were stranded when the storm hit. Irma is the strongest hurricane to hit the Florida Keys in 57 years. Elaine Quijano of our streaming network, that's CBSN, is in Key Largo to show us the destruction there. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Gail. We're now getting a look at some of what devastation uh, was left behind here by Irma. The storm surge in this particular area, a neighborhood that sits on the water, all the evidence of that storm surge is around. You see uh, piles of debris, things like sliding glass doors, mattresses, piles of wood, cinder blocks that have been broken. Same story across the way in that property behind me here. It was definitely a difficult situation for people who did decide to stay. Frightening moments for those who ignored the mandatory evacuation order. Uh, throughout the Keys, we know there is debris that litters the streets, a result of that powerful surge that came along with Hurricane Irma. I can tell you, even just making our way in here, we saw things like furniture, uh, we saw mattresses, we saw all kinds uh, of things that should not be in the middle of the street. A boat at one point was in a median, all evidence of just how forceful those winds were. We should mention that the military is going to be bringing in some relief. Uh, via some C-130s that are going to go to Marathon and drop off some supplies, things like water. Uh, we know it was the lower keys and the middle keys that were hit especially hard. And, Nora, that relief effort continues uh, as we speak. Nora. All right, Elaine, thank you so much for your reporting there.